Welcome back guys to another episode of Corolla Customs and today I'm really actually not going to do anything on this Corolla. Um, I just changed out the sway bar links because it was making, it was acting a little weird so I noticed one of my links were busted so I changed out both. Um, so I'm actually not going to do a video on the Corolla. I had actually just finished changing out the sway bar links. Um, this video is more about my vehicles and how I take care of them. Um, what they look like because a lot of you haven't seen like an in-depth in video of the two cars that I own which is this Toyota Corolla and the Chevy Avalanche. Um, currently right now my mom is driving this car. Uh, she's waiting to get her own uh, like the new RAV4 and I am driving my Avalanche which by the way takes up so much gas but never mind that let's get into the video. All right guys, so let's get started into this video. So this is my 2011 Toyota Corolla. Now I got this vehicle, uh, my dad gifted it to me in 2011. I think it was in June that I purchased it or he purchased it. And I used this vehicle to go to trade school uh, when I was enrolled in school. Um, this was actually my very first car. And uh, currently right now the mileage is I think 40,000 about 40,000, 41,000. And um, I haven't had any issues with it. It is a Toyota, so you know they last forever. It's a one and done vehicle. Um, the only things that I had to do on it maintenance wise, uh, other than the oil change and the brake pads, I changed tires uh, one, one set rounds. So which means like I only went through tires one time and then I, this is my second set that I put on. Um, I had it to change the water pump on the vehicle when it had 20,000 miles and for some reason that went defective. Um, when I ended up buying the vehicle and it came out of the dealership, uh, it also had a, a, a defect in it as well with the, um, the blend door. So it wasn't opening and uh, the heat wasn't switching from my feet to my face or whatever. So that had an issue. They had to keep the car for an extra three weeks, uh, take apart the whole dash to figure it out and so much for a new car, right? Um, the things that I've done to this car is that I vinyl wrapped the inside, of course. Um, I put in a touchscreen DVD Bluetooth radio with a backup camera into this vehicle, which has enhanced the price of the vehicle. Um, you know, I also gave it my little touch, such as the pinstripes, uh, painted the calipers and the drums red. Um, the engine cover I painted, but it's so crappy I gotta repaint that. It flaked off. Um, and that's about it. Other than this, this car has never been abused. It's always been, uh, you know, very faithful to me. It's taken me from point A to point B to point C to point D. No problems. It's very reliable. I can go on so long distance trips with this car and know I'll be okay. Um, right now my mom's driving it, like I said, until she gets her uh, own vehicle. Um, and yeah, this is a really, really good car and um, I enjoy it, you know, it, it's my first vehicle and then after that I owned a few more vehicles after such as the Chevy Avalanche, the Toyota Avalon and so on and so forth. But this was my main vehicle. This vehicle has only been in one accident and it was not my fault. Actually, I was driving on uh, I was driving straight down the road and a lady tried to merge into my lane She didn't even see me for some reason and she was in an SUV and she ended up merging into my driver's door Crushing my door and sideswiping the rest of the car uh, I was upset, but I wasn't really that mad. I was just like whatever it's life, you know as long as you're okay I'm okay. That's fine. Um, they fixed the car. It looks amazing. It doesn't look like it's been hit um, I did try selling the car once and people were just like, oh, it's been an accident. And I tell them what the accident was, but you know in their head when they see something registered as an accident, it's automatically an issue for them. And I had no time with that. I know my car, I know it's a good car. I was like, screw it, I'll keep it. It's a good car, it's gonna take me where I need to be. So I'll keep this car hopefully till I go down to Florida. I'll also keep this car then also over there as well. I really wanna keep this car for a very long time. Probably way longer. Like. You're not supposed to get attached to things and I'm not attached to it. I'm not attached to anything, but I do like it. I like, you know, the body and when I own something, the body stays good. So, you know, I'll keep this good. Um, it needs a little wash. It's a little filthy right now. 
And um, yeah, other than that, I'm just gonna take you in and tour you around the car and let you see. Um, so let's get started. So here we're looking at the tires of the vehicle. I love Michelin. I believe Michelin is one of the greatest tires out there. Um, it gives you such an amazing ride. A little expensive, but I put them on all my vehicles. And this baby has Michelin shoes on. Now we're gonna move to the outside of the car where I put in that pinstripe. And these were videos. I, I don't think I ever made a video on this one, but uh, I only made a few videos on this Corolla, um, such as putting in that navigation with the uh, backup camera. I put in the navigation with this backup camera. That was one of my first videos ever released. Um, don't go and look at those because that's embarrassing. Um, the second video I ever did was how to vinyl wrap your interior, I believe. And then I did one on um, the LED map light. So this video, this car has been featured in a few videos. So this car has been featured in a few videos. Um, the back glasses are all tinted. I even have a front tint strip. Um, other than that, this car is really, really good. I enjoy it. Here's the cockpit. You know, my bucket seats. Holds you in really well. Now I know a lot of you saying I should have gotten in a manual. I wanted a manual, but they sold the last four when I went to the dealership trying to get a manual. And I ended up just getting it automatic because I needed a car. Uh, nevertheless, it's still a great car, so I love it. Um, we'll put it up and you can see the underneath. All right, so this is the underneath of the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, there is no rust because I actually underwash my vehicle every time I give it a wash, uh, especially after the winters and the salt that's being thrown on the ground. Um, I always take the hose with some nice warm water and I spray it down. Uh, eventually, I'm actually gonna throw some undercoat under this whole body just to keep it preserved because I don't want it to rust out on me. And um, yeah. And this is the caliper thing that I was telling you guys about. The hose is a little tangled, so I wanna remove it and turn it around and then put it back in. And that's about that.